lesson eight of the Healthy Athletes program, again, it pertains to endurance athletes. So take out your teacher manual and flip open to the lesson plan for lesson eight. And what you'll do is you'll go over page eight in your staff reference guide. So this is eating for recovery. So here you're going to talk about how students can restore the fluid and electrolytes that they lost during intense activity, how to replace muscle fuel, how to provide protein to aid in the repair of muscles and cells. So um, you'll kind of talk about the importance of eating for recovery. And then there's some recovery snack and meal ideas listed and some tips. Um, and then the second section here talks about foods to promote immune function. And um, it's written in here, but make sure to explain to students that increased oxygen utilization that accompanies intense physical activity, um, it actually generates damage of free radicals. So it's really important that students eat um, a diet to help promote immune function because otherwise they might get sicker faster than other students who aren't doing endurance activities. So this next section kind of talks about how they can make sure to have healthy immune function. Um, so you'll read over that with them and then there's some foods to boost your immune system. So go over all these foods with students and then the worksheet for this one is let's make a smoothie. So we want the smoothies to try to have as much um, much of the foods that promote immune health as possible. So go ahead and go over how to fill this out. So what it is is there's different um, ingredients listed here. So there's fruits, vegetables they can add, and then some protein. So they want to make sure to have all three components in their smoothies for after a big workout. Um, so they can kind of look at all those ingredients and then they can compare a fruit smoothie from a fast food restaurant compared to a homemade one and answer the questions below and they'll compare the two nutrition labels to see which one has more protein, which one has more sugar, which might be the healthier choice. Um, and they can kind of come up with what mixture combination of ingredients they would want in order to make a smoothie on their own. And then you can have them share, you know, some of their ideas for healthy smoothies. And that's it for lesson eight. Have fun.